In this video we will connect your Stream Deck to your door using virtual MIDI ports, virtual MIDI cables. This video is for Windows users. If you are a Mac OS user, please follow the link in the description for a similar video for Mac OS. Okay, and when you have installed the MIDI or Cubase or Nuendo plugins, the plugin says that the, the default port name, Stream Deck to Door, is not present on this system. I have a number of other media ports, but I have nothing that I can use to connect my Stream Deck to my door. So I need to create something. There are a number of programs that can create virtual media ports. The one I recommend is Loop MIDI. Uh, it's very simple, but very easy to configure. And the easiest way to find and download it is to go to my website, go to the uh, virtual MIDI page, and there is a link to Loop MIDI, and you just download and install it. Once you have done that, you will have an icon in the notification area that looks like a MIDI uh, cable or MIDI uh, connector. And if we look at the configuration page, it's very simple. We can start with creating the port that the Cubase action wants by default. You just start by typing the port name. It's a good thing if you spell it correctly. Uh, and just press the plus button. And then the other port, door to stream deck plus. Don't try to, to create a single port and use as both media out and in. Uh, you will only create a media loop and nothing will work. So you need a pair of ports to connect, uh, in this case, the Cubase action to the generic remote device in, in Cubase. I recommend that you create uh, some additional ports. It depends a bit of uh, how you use the plugins and what functions you use. If you use uh, the Mackie control function, you must have separate ports for that function. So, and the default names uh, are Mackie to do and do do to my key like that and if you are a Cubase or Nuendo user and want to have buttons that affect your tracks uh, like note on off uh, or control change for damper or whatever. If you need something that communicates with your tracks, I recommend creating separate MIDI ports for those. And I'll explain that in a bit. So we call it stream deck to door track. And door track to stream deck. You can name these ports whatever you like, but uh, the stream deck to door, door to stream deck, Mackie to door, and door to Mackie are the default names used uh, by the actions. So if you use those names, you don't need to change anything in in the actions. Now, if we look at the, the MIDI port configuration in the Cubase action, we can see now that it, it has found uh, the port that we have created. And it should be the same thing here. And for the Mackie, we should have found the Mackie port. So now everything uh, works from the Stream Deck point of view. We have different ports that we can communicate with. Now we need to set up our door to 
also communicate with these ports. One final thing I want to say about this loop MIDI. Uh, if you right click on the uh, icon, I suggest that you mark the start minimized and the auto start loop MIDI uh, options. So whenever you start the computer, uh, loop MIDI will start automatically. And if you don't have that start minimized checked, uh, you will get this loop MIDI window open every time you start your, win uh, your computer. So now let's look at how to configure your door. And let's start with Cubase and uh, assume that we want to use all the ports that I have configured. I want to use Mackie control. I want to use the Cubase uh, control action and I want to use note on off or something that connects to a track. If we look at the studio setup in Cubase, you have a generic remote that is used by the Cubase action in Stream Deck. It is set, uh, I have configured by default, to Stream Deck to door as MIDI input and door to Stream Deck as MIDI output. And this should, of course, correspond to the MIDI port used by the uh, Cubase action, where the MIDI out port on the Cubase action should be the MIDI in port on the generic remote and vice versa. If we look at the Mackie control, it uses Mackie to door and door to Mackie. And if we have a Mackie control in Cubase or Nuendo, we should, in the same way, configure those two ports so that the MIDI input in the Mackie control in Cubase or Nuendo uh, corresponds to the out port of the uh, action. And finally, uh, a, an important part of the port setup in Cubase is to correctly set which ports that should be in this old MIDI. It says all MIDI inputs. And I think that the only thing from the port we have uh, created now that should uh, reach a Cubase track is what comes on the in port Stream Deck to Door track. Stream Deck to Door is meant to only be sent to the generic remote device, so it should not be in the all MIDI inputs. And the Mackie to Door is only sent to the Mackie control function in Cubase and should not be a part of the all MIDI inputs. So those checkboxes should be cleared. And the reason is that these, it, it's the same kind of commands that are sent on all these three ports. The Mackie control, for instance, is mainly note on commands. And if those are sent to your tracks, uh, I don't think you want that. So remove uh, those ports from the all MIDI inputs. That's the, the most important thing you need to do here. Now if we look at Studio One, we can go to Options, External Devices, and we need to add a Mackie control. And it should receive from uh, Mackie to door and it would send to door to Mackie. Okay. And we also, if we want to have anything that goes to our tracks, we need to add a new keyboard. Call it Stream Deck. Stream Deck. And we should receive from uh, stream Deck to Door or Stream Deck to Door Track. It doesn't really matter that much uh, when you uh, using something else than Cubase or Nuendo. But let's use that one for now. And for output, Door, door to Stream Deck Track. 
Okay. So now we have connected the virtual MIDI port to Studio One, and we should verify that if we have a note on action, for instance, that should affect tracks, we should use the stream deck to door track for that one. If you are using the note on off action to control articulation, you might want to have feedback on uh, what articulation is used by the door. And in that case, you need to specify the MIDI import as well. And that's all that is required to get everything up and running. If you have some other door, I guess that the configuration is similar. The important thing is to, to use different ports for remote control and for track content. But apart from that, it shouldn't be so complicated. Thanks for now.